listen i'm not a, a, a fairy tale i'm not a story that you watch on tv or um, uh, that you read in the book i'm a fact i grew up here most of you uh, knew me before i even i even live here um as long as you believe in something in a dream uh, as long as you have a dream and believe in yourself i think a success is just a matter of time Francis Ignanu, destined for greatness. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we are going to talk about the exponential success of Francis the Predator Ignanu, aka the reigning UFC heavyweight champion. Ignanu is a mixed martial arts artist who, in hindsight, was always destined for greatness. His story that inspires numerous underprivileged kids to pursue their dreams despite all that life throws at one is most exquisite. Let us dive into his exceptional career and what the future holds for this pounding ex machina. Number 5. The Predator in Making Early Life and Childhood While we were forcefully sent to schools at 8am, crying our faces off, begging our parents to reconsider the decision, Ignani was forced into child labor in his formative years. Education wasn't of great importance as his parents split when he was only 6 years old. To support his family, Francis Ignanu started working in the sand quarries of Beatty at the tender age of 10. He had to resort to intense physical labor in the quarries to support his family through extreme poverty. His father was a street fighter with a bad reputation in Cameroon. The place festered with gang-related activities. Ignanu was approached by several gangs who tried to recruit him. Watching his father's fights and negative recognition ignited a sense of righteousness in him. Francis chose to turn things positive for himself, which began his love affair with boxing that has made him the most dangerous man in the history of UFC today. I'm gonna try it. Number 4. Boxing Pilgrimage Begins His odyssey from rural Cameroon to Paris began at 26. Empty pockets and eyes full of vigor, Ignanu reached the streets of Paris to pursue his boxing dreams. With a slight hiccup in his journey due to the illegal crossing of the border to France, Francis was put in jail for a couple of months in Spain. He stumbled upon a gym where people familiarized him with MMA, a quicker way to earn money. Although boxing would always be his true love, Francis started training for mixed martial arts. As the gym was closed on weekends, Francis had to skim through several homeless shelters to get by. Ignani was later introduced to Fernand Lopez, also from Cameroon. Upon witnessing the size, power, and passion of Ignanu, Lopez took him under his wing and formally became Francis's coach. Lopez gave Ignanu a place in his gym, $50 to buy professional equipment, and a place to rest his head. Ignanu worshipped Mike Tyson and wanted to train as a boxer. However, Lopez recognized his talent for MMA and convinced him otherwise. You know, uh, it took me, I took 14 months from yeah. Cameroon to France. Yeah. Then uh, I've been through, through a lot. I've been through hell. It was a dumb thing. It was well, crazy. It's, it's but not, but you're you know, here. You're here now. Yes. You know, but they say uh, the fat uh, can, in French we say fat can move the mountain. Wow. Mm. That was a hell of mountain. So before we jump into tracing the historic map of Ignanu's success, check out this fun fact about him real quick. Fun fact, the rags to riches story of Francis Ignanu is inspiring, but so is his view from his grand estate in Las Vegas, Nevada. Through hard work and determination, we saw how Francis made his dreams come true. He has got it all, doesn't he? The grandeur lifestyle, bountiful salary, glorious mansion, but wait, there is still one thing Ignanu is yet to do. Ignanu debuts as a professional actor this summer with the Fast and Furious franchise in FF9, set to release in June 2021. Having no prior exposure to acting, one doesn't know what to expect. Ignanu confirmed his debut, but the role he plays remains mysterious. One thing we can place our bet on is a takedown fight with Vin Diesel. And honestly, even if Ignanu has no lines, we would be happy to witness some grander-than-life glitzy fight. John Cena has been roped into the franchise as the big bad, while Ignanu brings the fresh muscle with his glamour and looks. Number 3. The Big Break 
Francis Ignanu debuted in 2013, mostly in promotional French boxing events in which he secured a 5-1 win. Francis was nabbed by UFC and made his debut in 2015 against Louis Henrique. Ignanu was all fire ablaze as he knocked Henrique out in the second round, securing a win in his first fight itself. His second fight was against UFC newcomer Curtis Blade in 2016. He bagged his win with a TKO decision due to the doctor's stoppage in the second round. Francis continued to build his empire from the ground up in the next coming fights where he faced newcomers Boyhan Mihailovic and Anthony Hamilton, securing the title in the first round against both the fighters. He won against Hamilton through submission in the first round, which led him to bag his first UFC performance of the night. Ignanu's second UFC performance of the night was against former UFC champion Andre Arlovsky in January 2017 via TKO in the first round. The next big fight was dropped due to a USADA violation by Junior Dos Santos, and Ignani was removed from the card as a suitable opponent remained impossible to arrange. Number 2. Winner Winner Chicken Dinner Ignanu's career's most important profiled fight, which got him his first recognition, was against Alistar Overeem in 2017. He won against Overeem with a knockout in the first round that was later hailed as the greatest and most brutal knockouts in the history of UFC. He had a matchup with Ngannou! Oh! Down goes the Reem! Francis Ngannou has arrived! Francis met his biggest competition, former two-time UFC heavyweight champion, Stipe Miocic. Ignanu lost this fight through a unanimous decision. This served as a reality check to Ignanu, as Miocic exposed Ignanu's weakness publicly proving his medal. To overcome his first failure, Ignanu was set up against professional competitor Derek Lewis. Injuries holding Lewis back while Ignanu struggled with his game being exposed, the fight lacked luster to the extent that it was later labeled a snooze fest. Curtis Blade was brought back to face Ignanu leading Francis to win UFC Performance of the Night. Ignanu beat Blade via TKO in the first round in the rematch of 2018. Continuing the winning streak via knockout in the first round, Ignanu secured his win against another UFC former champion, Cain Velasquez. He headlined UFC's inaugural event for this win on ESPN. Ignanu bagged the Performance of the Night award through a technical knockout in a fight against second straight former UFC champion, Junior Dos Santos, in 2019. The world came to a standstill due to the COVID-19 breakout. The pandemic hit every person, every industry in ways that continue to haunt us still in 2021. Ignanu was scheduled to go against J. E. R. Rosenstrike in March 2020 before all of our lives took a turn for the worse. The match got postponed as the UFC president, Dana White, rescheduled it to May 2020. Ignanu knocked out Rosenstrike within 20 seconds in the first round, winning another Performance of the Night award. Number 1. Dreams do come true when you believe Ignanu kept his eye on the prize and awaited a second chance to win the UFC heavyweight champion title. He trained meticulously over the years with head coach Lopez until it was finally announced in March 2021 against Miocic. Ignanu had won the UFC heavyweight champion title by defeating Miocic via knockout in round 2. Ignanu not only knocks opponents out, but he also knocks them out quickly. Grateful for his success, wanting to bring a difference to the world, Ignanu started a foundation, Francis Ignanu Foundation, which aims to help expand the horizon and break through the shackles of the underprivileged rut for young children of Cameroon. Reflecting upon his success, Ignanu states that what he has is not bad at all, but it indeed is not enough to stop him from conquering the world. Le centre, la fondation est un peu basée, euh, conçue dans le sens de motiver les enfants, les pousser d'abord à croire en eux-mêmes parce que euh, faut reconnaître que tous les enfants qui viennent ici, on n'attend pas forcément d'eux qui deviennent des sportifs de haut niveau demain. C'est juste une façon de les galvaniser. C'est un peu ça qu'on veut mettre dans l'esprit des enfants et aussi les permettre d'être ambitieux. Une fois qu'un enfant a de l'ambition, une fois qu'un enfant a du rêve et croit en lui, je pense que le succès n'est qu'une question de temps. Soft spoken and down to earth, Ignanu is an inspiration for every underdog. Francis is resilient and full of surprises. He is already dominating as the heavyweight champion in UFC. What will he do next remains a mystery, but there is no denying that he is the next big thing. Watch out! If you guys enjoyed this video, then share your thoughts in the comment section below. 
Show your support by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel. See you on the flip side. Until then, stay safe. I mean, the, the most important thing is not to be the champion in the arena, but in your life.